Elections are a fun time for people who are inter interested and excited about data because elections give you so much data coming in, so many numbers uh, and great ways that you can consider presenting them. So this is a spreadsheet put together by one of my colleagues and I'm going to show you the spreadsheet first and then I'll show you how it was put together. So just the title slide here. Next we're showing the chance of winning of each candidate as a percentage, both by a uh, number in a text box here and then by an infographic. Showing the popularity of votes using a bar chart. And then we're choosing to show the electoral votes using a meter for both uh, presidential candidates. Then we have some fun with a map of the US where we're showing who's leading the polls per states and how much. And then we decided to show just those states that are the closest in the polls and which states are considered the tipping points. So how is that put together? So first off, uh, always we always start with the data and the data is essentially here in this uh, UX elections um, spreadsheet where we've downloaded where we've got a lot of data that we've pulled from from some polling information so this is just taken from from one of the online polling sites and you know then we've pulled it into pulled pulled all that data together if you had access to real-time data during the elections you could do it there so to start off with we created a connection using data point and we go, you see down here, it's just connected to that Excel spreadsheet. Could be other sources, MySQL, JSON, Twitter, XML, like any other feed you want. But in this case, it's Microsoft Excel. And then we've created some queries to gather the information out that we wanted. We connected these text boxes here to the information for each particular candidate. And down here, text box connected. And you can see the numbers showing there. And then what we did was we created a rectangle up here uh, that, that shows these particular, you know, and we turned that into a meter. So that will be a meter based on the percentage. So that would be 0.87 out of, out of 1. And in this case, the meter down below would be for that one. So the meter gives you a real option for infographics. So we've just had it go across and color the different color of these white white background ones and it's a, a lot jumps out a lot more than say a standard bar chart would or or um, just the straight numbers do for these bar charts once again they are a meter just set up and it shows us as a percentage and for fun we used a you know a flag as the bar chart instead of a boring color for the electoral votes, once again, this is also a meter and you can see that the meter rotation has been set out of 540 total electoral votes. This one has 340, so it's been set to use that rotation there. So very easy to set up the two meters this way. And then we started with a background of the uh, states and then for each state, each of these text boxes is connected to uh, you know, the particular state that's involved there. And we were also, um, if you go to the rules here, we set up a rule that if the person's winning is Donald Trump, then they're going to be one color, you know, they're going to be red. If the person winning is uh, Joseph Biden, then it's going to be a black color of blue. So this is a great way to be able at a glance to tell which states are, are leading. And down here, what we've done is we've set it up so that um, in order to show the states that are closest, we basically set up another rule that says don't include this state if it's um, greater or e than or equal to 0.05%, change the back color and the four color to black. So it just blacks out that state in the event that, you know, that it, uh, it is beyond that. So that now we're only going to show the states that are within 5% on the polls. And similar thing here, in this case, we're just showing the um, state name instead of the number, uh, but, you know, we've still got the same rule applied. So, 
So that's some fun with numbers. As I said, this could be real-time numbers if you had access to a real-time feed. In this case, this was a poll done by a polling company that we had downloaded. You can continually download new polls as long as you keep the uh, name of the Excel spreadsheet the same and it will grab the new numbers. Every time you run this presentation, the newest numbers will show. You can set it to, to grab the new numbers uh, as, as often as you want. So that's how to set that up. Uh, if you've got any questions about how to set up your own electoral maps, your own uh, election poll results, your own election poll data, please contact us.